Hello everyone, in this video, we are going to learn about Ahokarasic algorithm, which is a string matching algorithm. This algorithm finds all the words in linear time complexity. This is used to find the number of occurrences of a particular word or to find the word in a text or a paragraph. This algorithm requires three steps. First one is constructing da tri data structure. Second one is adding suffix links to it and then output links. This whole process of building all these is known as Ahokorasic automation. Let's go into Ahokorasic automation in detail. First, let us see about tri data structure. We define the tri data structure in this manner. There are three things to keep in mind. One is the final state, one is state or current state, and one is the transition. We can transit in any way we want. Like if there is a failure condition, we can get back to the same state we are in. And if there is a true condition, we can either come back to the same state or go to the next state. This is how we define the tri data structure. You will understand when we solve a problem more clearly. Next, we go on to learning about suffix link or it is also known as the failure link and output link together. I just drew a simple automation of Ahokorasic and just took some random values like JK, W, JQ, BEV and JW. I didn't draw JW on purpose because to show you that there is a failure case and what we can do during the failure case. Let's go through this. The green circle here signifies that the current state which I'm talking about. First string, let us take about J, K, W. The first string J, then it will go and traverse through J and go to the next state. Now, the next string is K, so it will go traverse to the next state. And the next state is W, so it will go and go to the final state. As I mentioned earlier, the dark circle means that is the output state. So it will print the word JKW. Here I denoted it with the green characters, signifying that it shows as an output. Now remember that after a successful output, if there is an empty string, it goes back to the root. The current state goes back to the root here. Now let's look at the second case the first letter is j so it goes to the next transition state now the next letter is q so it will go traverse to the next transition state q which is an output link so now the output j and q will get printed as shown again there is a null string so it gets back to the root again now let's go into the third one b it goes to B, then E, and then V. Since V is an output string, it gets printed as BEV. Now, in this case, like the fourth case, now we are talking about is JW. In this case, first it goes to J. Since there is no W to traverse, here the case of failure comes in. This is a failure state. I just shown here as the failure state because I didn't take a real problem as of now. This basically means that in case of failure, it traverses back to this back again. So since there is no JW, the, it traverses back and JW doesn't get printed. And it goes back to the root because there is no character left. So it's an empty character. You need to keep this note in mind. Whenever there is an empty character, it goes back to the root. So this is basically a brief description about automation in Ahokorasic algorithm. Now let us look into a problem. Here the problem is there is a string conquer from Witten and these following words are to be searched and if it is present we need to print them. We will use Ahokorasic automation to solve the above problem. This is the automation which I have drawn. Let me explain. Remember, while noting, the first note always should be the beginning letters in order to easily traverse and it will be a lot helpful when we talk about the failure cases. 
so i just drew a c i f and q since many words are starting from those like all the words are starting from those so i took them as the first nodes then uh you extend it according to the word c o n i t i n f r o and q u e now let me explain you about the output states since c is a single character and is in the words mentioned that itself is an output state and when it completes a complete word c o n that is also a word so n will be a output state similarly for the remaining one now let us talk about the failure nodes and build them basically if, if there is a failure in the that state it will come back to the same state because when it passes through c it also means that c is present so it returns back to that state and prints the c value c now if it passes that state and goes to the next state and there is a failure at o it comes back and returns to the c since it's the same reason as before the word consists the letter c and it has to be printed in the same case for n if there is a failure state there it should be coming back to c and now for the same state if there is a failure state in other cases it goes back to the root since there is no single letter to get transferred back to the different state so in all the cases mentioned further every single state returns to the root in case of failure all the states go into the root now this is basically the complete automation including the failure nodes and success node so let's get into the problem here we are at the root now and we traverse to the string so now we start with c now there is a c transition success transition state so it goes to the next state and now it does print the c but first it checks whether the next state is eligible or not and then if there is a failure it returns back to the state and prints it if there is not a failure it goes to the next state because anyhow in the end it comes back and prints the, the c so c and the next two letters are o and n so they go side by side and n is a output state so it prints the word c o n and gets back to c and prints the c also now after printing c there is a letter q so it's a failure state so it goes back to the root since there is a q state from the root it goes to the q state and then followed by u and e and since e is an output state it prints the word q u e signifying that it is present in the string and the next character is r so it is a failure case so it goes back to the root as shown here so this is how it traverses when it's a failure case this is why failure links are very important in automation now there is an empty character so it get back to the root itself the next character is f so it traverses to the f and r followed by o since o is an output state again f r o gets printed and now the next character is m since it's a failure case it goes back to the root again and coming to the next character it's a null character so it remains at the root now the next character is w since there is no traversing here so it stays at the root and comes back to the root again now the next character is i followed by t since t is an output link it prints the string i and t and then the h character is a failure state so it get back to the root again now i again is a success state so it goes to the i and now in this case there is an n so it goes to the n transition state and since it's an output state it gets printed and after that there is a null character so it gets back to the root again this is basically the working of the complete automation for this particular problem here i mentioned all the outputs in the green this is quite an interesting algorithm 
and all this process takes only linear time complexity so coming to the algorithm part oh for us it algorithm has two main uh, things pre-processing and matching generally there are three different functions inside pre-processing like go to failure and output as i discussed before and matching basically means printing this matching words or the strings this is all about a algorithm and it's working thank you